once again and bringing to you another super exciting topic in grammar degrees of comparison yes now don't we all love to compare persons places animals things fantastic which words do we use when we compare them we use adjectives right so my dear friends what is an adjective an adjective is a word that qualifies describes a noun or a pronoun and my dear friends let's take an example look at this handsome guy yes he is the head of the geometry department so we say ramesh is handsome noun ramesh adjective handsome exactly what i told you an adjective is a word that qualifies or describes a noun or a pronoun and today my dear friends we are doing degrees of comparison of adjectives and adverbs let me come to that let's take an example karthik is as good as rohit sometimes school days are better than holidays Diwali is one of the best festivals in India. My dear friends, look at the way the adjective good has been used. Good, better, best. Fantastic. Same way you can have small, smaller, smallest or tall, taller, tallest. Yes, my dear friends. Using adjectives in this manner is called degrees of comparison of adjectives and uh, it becomes very clear that there are three degrees positive comparative and superlative smart smarter smartest positive comparative superlative bright brighter brightest positive comparative superlative beautiful more beautiful and most beautiful positive comparative superlative excellent so how do we generally form comparative er or more and generally form superlative est or most but there are a few adjectives which are irregular which have an irregular formation let's take them bad worse worst even badly it's painting badly becomes worse worst right bad is the adjective and badly is the adverb both comparative words superlative worst let's take far farther and farthest yes and good or well becomes better in the comparative and best in the superlative my dear friends look at good again is the adjective sachin is good good is the adjective sachin plays good mm, wrong english sachin plays well well is the adverb for both these words good and well the comparative is better and the superlative is best my dear friends just remember we can have degrees of comparison of adverbs too so moving on let's have a look at the first degree positive degree which is the adjective as it is harry is as tall as sam equal equal fantastic this is the positive degree now do you notice two things one there is no change to the adjective tall it hasn't become er or more and there are two particular words in fact there is one particular word that we have used before tall and after tall which word is it you guessed it my friends you can see it the word is as as tall as as is before and as is after we will call them the bodyguards so in the positive degree the bodyguards are as as simple Let's have a look at the comparative. Can you see the comparison? Here we go. Harry is taller than Mickey. Yes, my friends. 
you can see that the adjective has changed. ER has been added. A very important question, sir. How do I know when to add ER and when to add more? Because your more tall would be wrong. Easy answer. If the pronunciation of the adjective goes beyond three syllables, three and more, like beautiful or four, intelligent, then you don't say beautifuler, you will say more beautiful, most beautiful. You don't say intelligenter, you will say more intelligent, most intelligent. 95%, that's the way you do it. Coming back to this, can you see the bodyguard here? Yes. For positive, the bodyguard was as as. For comparative, the bodyguard is than. Let's have a look at the superlative. Harry is the tallest boy in the group. Duh, you are right. The degree has become ESG, has been added to the adjective. And if you see, the is the bodyguard for the superlative degree. Let's check another superlative sentence. Max is one of the tallest kids in the group. Can you see here? Max is not the ultimate tallest. He is not the single tallest. There are one or two others who are as tall. He is one of the tallest. And we have learnt our bodyguards. My dear friends, we have learnt the different types of degrees, positive, comparative, superlative. We shall be back in the next module and we are going to change from the positive to the comparative, comparative to superlative and vice versa. You are going to rock this, my friends.